Acceptance speeches are rarely as genuine and emotional as the one Kevin Durant gave today as he was named the Kia NBA Most Valuable Player. It was a heartfelt tribute to all those who have believed in him from family to fans to coaches to his teammates. I've been through the toughest times with my family, but I'm still standing. I could speak all night about Russell, who will run through a wall for me. Just stay the person you are. Man, everybody loves you here. I love you. And last, my mom. You made us believe. You kept us off the street. You put clothes on our backs, food on the table. You sacrificed for us. <laughs> you the real MVP. Kevin, that was uh, as emotional an awards press conference as uh, many of us have ever witnessed. Um, how'd you get through it? I, I told myself I wasn't going to you know, cry or make it too long, but it was just like when you get lost in the moment, man, you just spill it out. So I just wanted, I just wanted to spill it out, man, and talk from the heart and... Uh, you know, show the, my appreciation for everybody who uh, who deserves to uh, to be a part of this. Not easy when you look out there and you see your mom uh, so proud of seeing her son in this position, is it? It's, I think that's why I started crying because she started crying as soon as I walked on stage. And uh, just knowing what we've been through as a family, you know, it means so much to, to, to be here, just to have her here, you know. To celebrate this with me, and she means the world to me. And you know, I just, I just wanted to, you know, for her to be recognized. You talked about this being a team award. Um, what were those moments like when you would look across at your teammates today, and and you'd lock eyes with a Derek Fisher or a Russell Westbrook, and tell them what they meant to you? I mean, you had guys on your team shedding tears at your press conference that was a special moment because i sometimes you never you see these guys every day but you never get to tell them how much you appreciate them. i just wanted to make it special for them as well just let them know how much they had a hand on this and uh, you know it, it was good to see them you know be emotional in the moment with me that made me feel good about it i spoke from the heart and you can tell i looked at some of my teammates eyes like you said they were shedding tears and we realized, you know, that we're playing basketball for a living. We we plan on we got a great opportunity to fight for a championship, and that should just, you know, we should just all be at peace with that and enjoy this moment that we have because they don't come often. When you look over your shoulder and look at that trophy, uh, and know that it's yours, um, is that real? Is that real to you? I hate to be singled out. I don't, I don't really like it too much, but uh, it, it's something that's uh, it's a remarkable accomplishment for a city, for an organization, for a team, and for and f you know for for a kid from from a from a neighborhood where I wasn't supposed to do anything with myself. When you speak um, of growing up as a man. Uh, I mean, you're 25 years old right now, but you've, you've talked about uh, maturing, talking about kind of realizing where you fit in, why you're here, that kind of thing. Go into that a little bit. What have you found out about yourself and your role? Well, I have a lot of faith, and I think that's what gets me through. And I, and I feel like I understand that my greatest accomplishments on this earth won't be an MVP or finals MVP or championship. It would be the impact I have on like a little kid's life or the hope I give to somebody that didn't think they would make it through. Our society is so stuck on, if you don't win, you're a loser. If you don't win a championship, you're a loser. If you win an MVP and don't win a championship, it doesn't mean anything. And I think that's totally false. I'm the ultimate competitor. I want to be the best player ever. I want to win 100 championships, but I understand what life is about. And 
you know, and, and this is not the most important thing, and I, and I understand it. Great day for Kevin Durant, obviously. Great day for Oklahoma City. A yeah. uh, great day for him, his team, the fans, his mom. And, and like, it's a lot of stuff to go into it. Uh, and I, I was cool to him to single out his teammates. And uh, coming from a, even though I'm, I love my dad, I'm basically from a single family home. And, you know, your, your mom, she's just a special person. My grandmother also, who's an amazing God rest her soul. Yeah, you know, the, the great thing is, you know, he was able to recognize, like Chuck said, everyone. But I, I remember five years ago and thinking that he could be in this moment. And, you know, at that time, he wasn't. He was nowhere near it. Uh, and he might not be the best player in the world today. LeBron James might be the best player, but he, was, he is an MVP because what, it's where, where you elevate your team to where it maybe shouldn't be is what considered an MVP probably more than anything else. If you look at like when Carl Malone, Shaq didn't win it every year. Michael Jordan didn't win it every year. Uh, those guys could have probably won it most of the years they were involved, but someone else elevated their team where everyone didn't think they'd be. And Kevin Durant has an opportunity, like you said, win a championship. But the, the biggest thing I remember is when, as soon as the hurricanes hit Oklahoma. Tornadoes. The, first, the tornado, yeah. rather, hit Oklahoma. He was the first one out. First, one of the biggest donors, but the more, more biggest thing he gave was his time. You know, that's something you can never get back, you know, is the time that you put into a community and the time you put into others. So, you know, that's an MVP and congratulations to him and his mom who raised him well. It was a great speech, a uh, great moment for everyone. This could possibly be his second or third MVP trophy. You know, he's always in the running. Uh, you know, what, what he does every year, and he's been doing it since he first came into the league. You know, what he does is not easy. Uh, he's a terrific scorer, has elevated his game every year, and it's about time he got it. But, he, you know, again, this should be his second or possibly his third MVP trophy. There will be, running uh, every year. Yeah, there will be more uh, in his future, I am sure.